Hello. Um, so I'm a rape survivor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people laugh at that. I'm serious. Um, it was one of the most traumatising days of my life. I uh, reached out for a girl. She had a knife. Took a slash at me. Missed. Thank God. Um, it's a bit dark. I'll change up the tone. Um, my favourite insect is a grasshopper. For these reasons. Wow. Um, this Right, um, I've been single for about eight months. Um, it's not because I don't like relationships. It's um, I just don't like double standards that girls have. Uh, for instance, my girlfriend reckons I'm a slob and very unhygienic, um, which is bullshit, because I came home once drunk from the pub and pissed in the sink and there were dishes everywhere. <laughs> there's, uh, there's other things as well. For instance, when we're having sex, I always make sure I have an orgasm. And uh, she rarely meets me halfway. <laughs> also, uh, I came home one day and my, uh, my ex-girlfriend, she was pleasuring herself with a vibrator, as you do, I understand. I'm grown up, but it hurts. It hurts. And um, she said, love, don't, don't be upset. It's a, it's a machine. You can't be jealous of a machine. I'll remember that. About four months later, these things take time, I was uh, sleeping with her mother. And, uh, no, but you know, sweetly, respectfully, that is, the mother of the woman I love. Um, she was very upset, which, fair enough, but I had to stop her. I had to be, honey, honey, babe, babe, remember what you said to me four months ago? Your mum works two jobs, she cleans the house and still finds time to put a balanced meal on the table. Your mum's a machine. <laughs> chat rooms. Um, I'm sure you can all agree there's a lot of sexual predators out there. Um, the market's flooded, it's really hard to meet kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun one. Um, I'm, I'm not really close to my family. I'm, I'm semi-close, we're about there, fourth row-ish, somewhere. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, actually, I can't say. Um, That's my strongest joke. <laughs> Um, <laughs> five minutes is a very long time. It doesn't feel this long when I'm having sex. <laughs> Recovery. <laughs> ah, I like to give back to the community. Um, I've been sharing a lot of food with homeless people. Um, they're the worst people to do it. They're very reluctant to give you their food. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I've seen you before. Um, last time I saw you, you looked like that. Oh. Oh. If anyone is interested, seriously. Um, people think I have a waterbed, I just cry a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard out there. When I go clubbing, I feel like I'm hurting cattle. Women just kind of walk away from me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not funny. That's not funny. <laughs> Sometimes I am just being serious. Um, no, but look, my, life, my life's not that bad. Um, every morning I wake up to the side of a 12 inch dick. Um, I wish it was mine, my brother's got weird boundaries. <laughs> which is a condition that affects one in like a hundred thousand people, so that's lucky. <laughs> if you don't know what psoriasis is, it um, basically skin forms on the top of my head faster than I need it. And if I am lucky to sleep with a girl, she wakes up in the morning making snow angels. <laughs> Still got time. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> oh cool, they flashed me off. Um I had a real good time, you guys have been a great crowd. Um I'm Scott Koonish and I'll see you soonish. Oh. <laughs>